I'm Rob from Barefoot Gaming, and this is our Guns and Stories Bulletproof Virtual Reality Review. Wave Shooter! So, if you're not interested in Wave Shooters, you're not going to be interested in this game, so keep moving on. However, if you're looking for a Wave Shooter that's a little bit something different, I will, as always, do my best to explain how this game stands out. Now, the premise of the game is you play a grandfather as he's telling the story to, like, his grandson. So, uh, the story will start off very basic and you'll be, you know, a, a six-shooter type gunslinger in the Wild West. But things kind of get out of control as his story goes on and on. So, you know, to give you a really brief example is while he's talking, you know, all of a sudden maybe this building was way bigger than he originally said. And while you're standing there, the building will like double up in size and it'll have a bunch of stuff shooting off of the sides and everything will just feel more over the top. And the kind of guys that have guns will all of a sudden have like massive machine guns instead of six shooters. And the game just constantly evolves as you play it. Now, this is available on the HTC Vive, the Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. All three are listed. What else can I say about this game before we get to the actual review? First off, the fact that the bullets that come at you, you can dodge. So everybody that shoots at you, the bullets are all slow. Now, that sounds like it'll make the game way easier, except for the fact that there are so many bullets that can be coming at you at any given point. And you can shoot the bullets that are coming at you, or the projectiles, or whatever it is, if they're explosives, or if they're whatever. Now, you'll have multiple different guns yourself that you will unlock as you play, starting off with your, again, like I said, your basic six-shooter, where you just pull the trigger for every shot. And again, the weapons don't stay realistic at all, so everything gets way out to lunch, you'll have drones coming at you to attack, you'll have just, you name it, it'll come at you, and it's all done very, you know, tongue-in-cheek, and it's done as a comedy. There are, I think, four different stages, and in each stage there are multiple levels. Now, the game goes for $19.99 US, I think, $22.79 Canadian, so again, around the £19 mark for our UK friends. Uh, and let's list some pros, let's list some cons, and I mean, you're going to see a lot of the gameplay, so that's really going to give you kind of a taste of what the game feels like to play. Now, on pros, the voice acting is done very well, so that's a major pro. I, I didn't find it annoying playing through the first time. Whether you would when you amp up the difficulty would be something else. The fact that it has multiple difficulty levels is another pro, so if you decide to go through it again, great. Uh, the graphics there's lots of different kinds of models of bad guys which is really nice the environments change up and the environments don't feel uh, how do i say this they don't feel like they were just picked out of an asset store and placed it actually feels like it makes sense to the game itself and the game is funny i actually laughed at some of the stuff that was going on the banter that goes on between the grandfather and the grandson it's very cute now the game does have some weaknesses and for me one of the biggest weaknesses is the fact that they, you do use single shot guns frequently. And that may not seem like a big deal, but having to pull the trigger on every single shot when you're having to shoot hundreds of times, I, I actually traded off with friends on this one, back and forth between levels, because my hands couldn't take it. Like by the time you upgrade to like a better weapon, your hands are burning, your wrists are burning because of how much you're having to do it. It's too much. The only other con I'm going to mention is the fact that the game is a little bit repetitive. So even though the stages change up, even though your enemies are different, uh, it, it because it's a wave shooter, it does feel like it's repetitive. And the one-liners, you know, as cute as they are, they do, they do get kind of old over time. The game is single player only, and again, I'm not going to list that as either a pro or a con. This game wouldn't really make sense as multiplayer unless you just wanted somebody standing beside you to make the game easier. So, just putting it out there, it is a single player only game. So, you guys did a good job with a good looking wave shooter, and this might be right up your alley. Again, your visuals of what you see is going to make a big difference as to whether you're going to want this game or not. It is funny. I, I laughed, and that's worth something in a game as well. So, the story, the storytelling is very cute. That's a pro. Uh, in the end, I'm going to score this a three and a quarter out of five. So it's a decent wave shooter. If you're looking to add something to your list of wave shooters, it's done well, but 
it's also not really exceptional. It's good game, maybe if you want to pick it up, maybe wait for a sale. But again, that's totally up to you. And that's another Barefoot Gaming review. If you have any questions about that or anything else, leave them down below in the comments. Like if you like us, subscribe if you want to know more, share if you want to get this out to other people. Thank you so much for watching another Barefoot Gaming review, and we will talk to you again real soon. See ya.